We now know screening for cancer can save lives, and every year millions get mammograms and colonoscopies. Yeah, but thousands of people who are eligible to be screened for lung cancer aren't getting tested. As Dr. Malika Marshall shows us, a New Hampshire woman says she's living proof it actually works. Spaghetti with brown butter and cheese, a simple family favorite for Karen Capellos. I love to cook. I, and I'm a good cook. Karen has a new sense of gratitude for every day in her kitchen after a terrifying health scare. It's like you black out. You, you just don't hear anything else after that. You have cancer. But she was lucky, recovering here after surgery to remove the tumor on her lung. The cancer was caught in the earliest stage thanks to a routine screening recommended by her primary care physician. It gave me life. And it did save her life. Um, it, it most... It, most assuredly dead. Karen's oncologist, Dr. Carrie Thompson, estimates about 9 million Americans are eligible for lung cancer screening, but most aren't getting the simple CT scan. If we are screening the right number of people, we should be saving over 100,000 people a year. According to Thompson, part of the problem is educating patients and doctors on who's eligible, which is a complicated formula of age and smoking history. The other problem is patient fear. There is that segment of the population who says that. They say, I don't want to know, so I don't want it. But Thompson says finding a cancer this way is not a death sentence. The vast majority are in the treatable early stages. And she says the test can also spot coronary artery disease and other small cancers on the thyroid, stomach, or pancreas. So we've screened about 16% of our eligible population in Massachusetts. We still have a long way to go. Choose to live, not die. So go and get screened. Dr. Thompson is currently working on a program to sign women up for a lung screening during their yearly mammogram. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBC News.